Happy Friday, you guys! We're celebrating by getting nothing other than ramen. Our new favorite cuisine, I think. I posted a poll on Instagram stories and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a weekend in my life or a life Q&A. And everyone wants to see a weekend in my life. So that's what we're doing. Um, pretty chill weekend here. No plans as of now. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with the Marvel Spider-Man movies now, so... We might watch that tonight, but we just ordered ramen from our favorite place. <laughs> our our favorite place. <laughs> I really like Marafuku ramen. I love Ivan ramen too, but I think Marafuku takes the cake. I get the chicken ramen, he gets the beef one. But yeah, welcome back to another weekend in my life in New York City. It's pretty chilly out. That's all I got to say about that. We're gonna eat now. Okay, you guys, so I bought this juicer from my friend Jordan. It's a Breville juicer, and we're about to try it for the first time. Just with some carrots, just to test it out. Ryan's really excited. It's a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make juices and shots this weekend. Wait, ah! Wait, Ryan, put the thing on! Yep, don't do that. <laughs> no! That's pretty dumb. <laughs> You keep the top on immediately, yeah. but other than that, see now we're gonna have to clean that up. But that's it's okay. Like, yes, it's like a blender. This is what we get for not reading the instructions. I don't like the instructions. I don't either. But there's a little carrot juice. Not that I'm gonna drink that right now, but uh, okay. Now put the thing on. There we go. A little juice action. You're not gonna get much from one baby carrot, but. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Love it. All right, so I just did a little unboxing of some random things I got in the mail today. Thought I'd share with you guys. These are my favorite eye patches ever, I've decided. I still like others, but this is definitely, when people ask me my favorite, these would be it. I will have a link down below. The only place I've been able to find where to buy them is on Chlorine's website itself. So I will link down below um, the link, like the direct link to these specific eye patches. They're the soothing and smoothing eye patches. I love them. They're blue, they're gel. I'm gonna pop some of these in the fridge right now so when I put them on in the morning, they're nice and cool. I just love how they feel. They look so cute too. Bright blue, amazing. I mean, you can't get much better than this. So I will have a link down below to these because I've gotten so many questions about my favorite eye patches. I got this mask in the mail from Fresh. It's a little PR package. It's the Floral Recovery Calming Mask, even skin tone and texture. They said this is a very, like it said, calming mask, so it's very easy on skin. It's very gentle, so I'm excited to try this. And then um, I'm having twice as organized come back to my apartment in a few weeks, so a couple orders have come in. I'm organizing my bathroom. They're going to help me reorganize my closet and then also organize my bathroom. So we got these um, little, like... I don't know, drawer things for the cupboard above my toilet. So I'm really excited about that. And then from Fashion Pass, it's a clothing rental website. So I get three items a month. So I picked out three different sweaters. It's fun to be able to, you know, style this and then I can send it back and then try out a new sweater or something. I don't know, it's pretty cool. And this one's still new with tags. It's from Pepper Mayo. I love the color, so fun. I was clearly in a very colorful mood because then I also got this one from Free People. That's like a fun little pullover sweatshirt, pink and orange striped. This is from the brand Heartloom, and it's just another sweater that's striped. I was in a striped mood, I guess. So that's everything I got. Just thought I'd show you guys. Ryan's watching. Putting my eye patches in the fridge. Love that. This might be my new favorite playlist on Spotify. It's called Dopamine dopamine <laughs> and um, it's very vibey it's got such good music like feel good like right now it's playing the spins by Mac Miller it's got some chance the rapper some Khalid chicken tender such a fun song code of the friend hippocampus just like really good music and I've just had this on shuffle for hours and I guess there's a good amount of songs on it, it just keeps going I guess I paused it in between but it is such a vibe and I just had to tell you guys. Ryan went back to do a little bit of work because he gets work sometimes after dinner and then um, 
I think we're gonna like watch a movie tonight. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna clean the table and just, you know, clean up a little bit around here. Before Ryan left, he helped me clean this juicer um, because I think we're gonna go get groceries tomorrow and try and make green juices and ginger shots, which I'm really excited about. Um, a fun little project, something to do. So, I don't know. The winter just makes me wanna stay in and just do stuff inside, which is very unlike me, again, but for some reason it's been very fun and it's very nice and very therapeutic. <laughs> roller <laughs> I just had some yogurt parfait I'm listening to some good vibey music filled out my doing well daily you guys know the morning routine at this point if you haven't watched my last video or one of my last videos it's my very specific morning routine where I talk through why I do everything I do in the morning it's Saturday morning oh Ryan's here <sighs> Hi. Oh my gosh, we're very literally taking a video right now. Ryan just got here. He went and got so many groceries. I'm so excited. We are about to juice the day away. <laughs> I'm so, I, you know, the dogs played last week and they won. They are now national champions. So with that, Saturday is no longer college football day, which is sad, but also it's kind of nice to like, I don't know, have relaxing Saturday morning. So. I'm so excited to see what Ryan got. So what'd you get from the grocery store to juice? What is this? Beets. Ew. Okay, you can have the beets. We got beets. We got celery. Ooh, green apples, perfect. We're gonna make green juices, if you guys can't tell. Cucumbers, lemons, and kale, right? Yep. Perfect. I'm so excited. I now pronounce you the first juicing of the day. Did you put it in and then start it up? Yeah, do that. That's smart. But have the lid on. All right. Time for the kale. Lemon juice. Ta-da! You ready to try it? I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, taste testing time. Cheers. It's pretty good. Not bad. It's not too bad. Just like the green elephant. Yeah, tastes good. We put Cucumber, kale, celery, lemon, ginger, and green apple. Try it at home. I, I did not measure how much we used. Ryan's doing some beet juice now. Fancy, fancy. He made us some eggs. Get you a man that takes over the kitchen. <laughs> Mainly because it's too small and I can't fit too. Guys, I just got TikTok on my TV. So you can just sit here and go through your For You page. And it's a little tempting. So Ryan just left, he's going to run some errands. 
and I'm just so content. I actually have to do my quarterly taxes today and I also need to make the thumbnail for my video I'm posting tomorrow because today's Saturday and I post every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, and I'm just so content. So I think that's the vibe. I saw on Hulu that When in Rome is on Hulu and I love Josh Duhamel and he's the main actor in the movie so I might put that on while I do some work. Might do something later today with a friend or with Ryan, I don't really know. Ryan and I don't hang out a lot on the weekdays and if we do it's like at night and we might have dinner together or whatever but um, so we really do enjoy our weekends together but we're both kind of like it's so cold. <laughs> I'm really not that dramatic when it comes to cold, but it's more of like I don't have any plans to do So why create plans when I can just stay in the comfort of my home? This is a whole new Danielle. This is wellness Danielle This is Danielle taking care of herself and when she wants to stay in she's gonna stay in you know And that's that on that So yeah, I decided up to you guys the Georgia parade um, in Athens is today. So I'm live streaming it on my TV. Oh, I'm sad, I wish I was there. Got the Georgia parade on my computer. About to watch one in Rome. Made a cup of coffee finally. And then I'm gonna clean. I feel like I'm perpetually cleaning my apartment, but I like it to be spotless. Got the dishwasher going, cleaned up a bit. Paused my movie. Made my bed, well, clearly I didn't do a great job. Semi made my bed. Ryan and I decided we're gonna go to the Met today. I haven't been to the Met since I moved to New York. Um, for some reason, we just love going to the Upper East Side. Oh my gosh, my teeth are literally green. I need to brush my teeth, it's from the juice. Um, we just love going over there, but it's really cold, so we were like, we wanna do something inside. Um, so we're gonna go to the mat. I just got us tickets. We're going at 4 30. So I'm gonna get dressed. I think I'm gonna wear one of my new fashion pass sweaters. I already showered this morning, so I just need to um fix my hair obviously and I'm gonna put on a little makeup. And yeah, I actually want to show you guys some products I've been loving, so that's perfect. Gonna play my new favorite playlist, dopamine, while I get ready. I just finished doing my makeup. I thought I would share with you guys what is on my face because I love what I've been doing with my makeup recently. A lot of the same products, but a couple new ones that I think have really changed the game. Um, so the foundation I just keep using is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I also have been loving this Rare Beauty Illuminizing Primer. I love how it sets under my skin and it really does keep my foundation on all day. This is definitely one of the game changers. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I think it's hard to get these days. I think if you shop on Charlotte Tilbury's website herself. You can find them, they're just not available on Sephora right now. I just put two dots on each cheekbone and blend out, and a little bit on the sides of my nose, and it really does a great contour. Love that. Lush. This has been, this and that contour thing are like my favorite things right now. This Rare Beauty Nearly Mauve um, Melting Blush. It's like a cream blush, but I use a normal um, blush brush and I've just placed it on the top of my cheekbones because that's like the thing right now. And I really like how it looks. It makes you look so glowy and happy and healthy and all the things. Um, mascara, been loving this L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara, the white side, the primer. Truly has changed the game, so thank you all for recommending it to me. I never get black under my eyes anymore because of this. And then I'll take a little bit of this Bite Mascara and put it on top just to give it a little bit more volume. Lips, I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on with a little gloss over top. Um, but yeah, I think those were the products I wanted to highlight. Now we're gonna fix my hair. It might be a beanie day, might be a slick bun day. It's not gonna be this, but it's gonna be something. I feel like Emma Chamberlain right now. I feel like this is like a look she would rock with the bun. <laughs> Okay guys, I feel very cute right now. I feel like I should just like be on a bill, like I don't feel like I should be on a billboard, but you know, like, like, whoa, happy winter. <laughs> I'm in a good mood. I'm going to a museum, it's a Saturday. I love days like this, so I'm really happy. And I had a lovely chill morning and it was spontaneous. I'm not a big spontaneous person, so. Sweaters from Fashion Pass, Pepper Mayo. Jeans, a goal day, wearing my white high socks to keep warm, Nike Air Force Ones, my earmuffs. 
I was gonna do a beanie, but my hair looked really weird with the beanie today, so we went with earmuffs. They're from Amazon. I, they're always linked in my Amazon shop, which is always linked down below. Now we need to layer. Okay, so we've got two scarf options here. I really wanna wear this one. I know it clashes, but in a way, I feel like it could be a vibe. I don't know. I don't know, it's a, it's a lot, I understand. I just wanna be warm, you know? That's on the topic of discussion today. Um, I have this pink scarf. It's different pinks though. So it also clashes. So like, am I winning at all? No, but it's 19 degrees outside now. And I'm warm in here, but as soon as I get out there, I'm gonna be like, you could have added more layers. I'll pick up my coat and then we'll decide if we're gonna do a scarf. If I do a scarf, I'm doing this one. It's just happening. Gonna bring this tote instead of a purse today um, in case I wanna like take my earmuffs or something off. So I brought my brush in case I wanna switch to a claw clip. I don't really know how it's gonna be wearing a mask and earmuffs. I, I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I just have like, this is my purse of the day. It's from Have Some Fun Today, the brand. I think their Instagram is HSFT or something. Just look up Have Some Fun Today on Instagram. I love it, it's a nice sturdy bag. I like how it has like a big compartment too. Love it. Okay, this is cute, but this is not gonna be warm enough. I mean, I've worn more layers in 25 degree weather, so. Okay guys, here's what I ultimately decided. Hopefully, you can keep it on, it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm warm enough. I keep looking outside and seeing what other people are wearing, so let's just hope and pray. Got the sweater on, the scarf is happening. It keeps me so warm. This vest from Zara, and then you guys, I forgot I have this jacket from Half Days. They're a ski company, um, and I don't have any plans to ski necessarily soon, so I gotta wear this jacket, and it's orange. It keeps you nice and warm. There's a hood, and I love a belt on a jacket. So I feel like I'm locked and loaded. And it has the hand things. I'm gonna pop some gloves in my tote. We're good to go. All right, before we head off. <laughs> what? You look like Slenderman back there. Cheers, ginger shots of clack. That feels great. I am thoroughly embarrassed right now. Like, I really am so embarrassed. You guys are all gonna roast me in my comments. I already know now. I fully got us tickets to the MoMA, <laughs> the Museum of Modern Art. I just like did it so quickly. And so then obviously I just copied the address from my tickets onto the, when we called the Uber. And then I was like, this isn't the Met steps. So we're going to MoMA. It's happening. It happened. Um, a different show. It'll be a whole different, yeah, but I was like, we're in for a whole different show than we thought. But I'm also excited, it's another place I wanna go. My hands are really freaking cold. But other than that, I feel good. We're gonna go try this place called Wagamama for dinner. And then our tickets are soon. Oh my God, my hands are cold, gotta go this way. I might have a slight obsession with ramen. Just got back, about to go over to Ryan's apartment and hang out there for a little bit. And also, I don't think I formally introduced you guys to his fourth roommate. His roommate Christian brought up his dog, Potter. I'm so excited to see him, he's a cutie. I just switched into this sweat set from Aritzia. 
It's my first time ever wearing it. I don't know why, but it's so comfy. I was just so cold. Um, today was such a fun day. We did the Opera Skate, um, the TikTok thing at Rockefeller Center. We got to, if you bought two hot beverages and two snacks, you got to sit in one of those like chalets by um, the skating rink for 20 minutes. So that was really fun. The museum was great. And yeah, we're gonna get pizza tonight, I think. But yeah, we're just gonna go chill at his place for a little bit and hang out with the dog. But yeah, I just had to show you guys my little, my little sweat set because I really like it. Potter, show everybody what you can do. Sit. Ready? <gasps> Good boy, yes. So this is Potter, the fourth roommate. He's so cute. Potter's so sweet. Apparently he loves girls. Hi. So they have no indoor seating in there. It was cool vibes in there though, I will say. We're at Sauce Pizzeria. Ryan heard this is rated really well. Gonna try a piece now. We also got a salad, but we wanted to have one slice while it was super hot. Oh my gosh, you guys, that pizza was so good. I literally said to Ryan, should we get more? Because we're gonna like go back and watch football or a movie or something. And I'm gonna want more of that later. I only have one more slice. So he went inside to go get more. The guys are dying laughing. It was so good. Yay, we got more. <laughs> Were they laughing? Yeah, 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 they're, they're, they're like, oh, happens all the time. Happens all the time. All right, we're back now watching football. Woo! I got snow boots in the mail. I found them and it's, so many of you guys gave me great recommendations. A lot of you guys said Sorel and I really wanted Sorel boots and this one pair I found were sold out everywhere and I was so sad because it was like what I wanted those like specific pairs. And then I found these on Revolve. I've never heard of this brand. Look how fab. They've got the like the faux fur, but some good traction and platform. I wanted to get moon boots, but apparently they don't actually like, they're not good for walking around the city in snow. It's more of like if you're literally walking on a snowy mountain, I think. But these gave me moon boot vibes, but like still with some, I love it. I love the wrap around. I am like, I'm really into these snow boots. So I will link them down below for you guys. Thank you all for your recommendations. They might suck, but I'm really excited about them. Oh my gosh, guys, these are approved. They're so cute and they're very comfortable. Ryan wants to see how much taller I am now because sometimes when I wear heels or platforms, he's like, wait, when did you grow? Yeah, I'm still. Yeah. These aren't my highest heels. Yeah, you're a little bit taller. Hello. Breakfast for lunch today. <laughs> I'm on my third movie of the day, watching Endless Love for like the fourth time, but it's so good. The sun just went down. I am still in my robe from when I took a shower this morning. My hair is obviously now dry. I've literally just watched movie after movie and now I'm watching YouTube. I'm just in a really weird mood and this always happens to me when I have just like a free day. I kind of don't know what to do with myself, which I mean, not always. I'll like make plans or I'll go out and have a me day. But I don't know, this past week I've just been very, I don't know, just into just simplicity and doing nothing. And then I have this internal battle in my head, like, oh, I should be doing something. I really need to get my quarterly taxes done today. And a couple other things, and I just haven't done any of it. I've literally been, this is what you're seeing right here. But um, that's okay. That is okay. It's okay. And um, I'm just like in a funk right now. I just, <sighs> for no reason, just other than I feel like lazy. But it's fun to be lazy, you know? But I think I'm gonna get up now and make my bed and play some music. Stuff that empowers me. And for some reason when I get up and start moving and cleaning and doing things, it is very therapeutic for me, so I'm gonna do that. And also my head hurts. I think it's because I never had coffee today. 
which is so bad. There's just so many things happening here. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get up. I have a dinner for my friend. It's her birthday, and they're having it at this like fun pizzeria place called Patricia. Patricia's. So yeah, I have to get in a social mood. I'll take a ginger shot. That's that. On that. Peace out. Till later. Came over for a little bit. I'm about to head to this little birthday dinner for my friend Megan and her boyfriend Thomas. It's snowing out right now. I wonder if it's gonna stick. There was nothing better than waking up though the next morning and there was snow all over the ground. That was really cool. I wonder if it's gonna stick tonight. This is so cool. Here is my little outfit of the night. I said I, it's definitely a um, very bland outfit, but you know, actually it's not bland. I'm wearing green pants, but Black turtleneck from a store I can't remember right now. Green jeans are from Princess Polly. Air Force Ones, and I'm just gonna wear my black puffer. Some gold hoops from Studs. Use the Dyson Air up to add a little dimension to my hair. And that's pretty much it. So, see you guys after. I'm back, and snow is literally on the ground, you guys. It's so exciting, I think tomorrow's gonna be a day I get to wear my snow boots, which I'm really pumped about. Um, if you have a birthday and you're celebrating in the city and you don't know where to go, Patrizia's of New York City, so fun. Every time it's someone's birthday, they turn off all the lights and blast music and bring you like a firework situation, so that was fun. I am so tired, but I'm so I'm so happy I got to go. It was so much fun. I made a new friend who lives near me, so maybe we'll hang. But um, yeah, it was a really good time. I am about to just like do my whole night routine. Maybe heat up my heat pack, watch some more TV, and then go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life, and I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye.